All right, hello everyone. For this video, I'm going to go over Pat Narduzzi's four three uh, cover three zone blitz scheme. So Pat Narduzzi is currently the head coach at the University of Pittsburgh and is the former defensive coordinator for Michigan State University. He was the defensive coordinator when they won the 2013-2014 Rose Bowl against Stanford. Um, the base defense is a 4-3 cover 4 defense. Uh, the cover 4, the base coverage was a pattern match defense. And this is the basic front, um, if it were to get this particular formation. So before I get into the coverage and the zone blitz scheme itself, just lay out a few basics here. Um, by letters, uh, you got your two corners, your free safety, your strong safety, your Sam linebacker, Mike linebacker, Will linebacker. Now I'm using Will linebacker because that's just a more universal term. In Pat Narduzzi's defense, so the defense they use at Pittsburgh and still use at Michigan State, is called a star linebacker. And then there are four defensive linemen. Your defensive end, your nose ta or your defensive tackle, nose guard, and rush end. This is their basic front. So, nine technique, which is outside shade of the tight end. Three technique, outside shade of the guard. A tackle on the end aligned to the tight end side. Then you got a nose guard and your rush end who aligns to the weak side. Nose guard is in a one technique. That is outside shade of the center. And then your rush end, who is in a five technique, which is outside shade of the tackle. I'll make another video about techniques another time if you guys would like but that's not very important to what we're talking about right now. So again, base, deep, the base coverage is cover four. Um, one thing I want to mention too, what's unique about this Pat Narduzzi's defense is that the three linebackers in his defense have zero counter or cutback responsibility. Pat, one of Pat Narduzzi's big philosophies is to let his underneath or your front, his front defenders play aggressive as much as they can. So by taking that counter and cut back reverse responsibility away from it, it allows them to play fast. That's important because it plays into how kind of this uh, zone blitz cover three works. So zone blitz cover three, very, it sounds exactly what it sounds like. It's a cover three, the zone coverage underneath with a blitz. So let's say just to keep it basic to start, um, obviously we're going to have two high safeties, because again, the base defense is cover four, so they kind of want to give make the defense think that. Um, they primarily use this coverage in long yardage situations um, or passing situations. They love to blitz on their third and longs. Um, it's a defense that's known for being more conservative in terms of its play call style, so it's a really nice changeup. Let's say for right now, we're going to play a cover three zone blitz. So we got our deep corners. This is just a basic start and a deep safety. So there's your three zones. That's one part of the defense. The second part of the defense is the underneath coverage. Which, so they'll have anywhere between two or three underneath de zone defenders. Um, let's say for just uh, this basic example, for this first example, we're going to use the strong safety and the well linebacker, again, star linebacker in his defense as the underneath coverage. So if you're in the underneath coverage of this, fourth, of this uh, cover three zone blitz scheme, and there's only two underneath defenders, they are going to a drop to a depth of 10 yards. So let's say it's about right here. They're going to move to a depth of about 10 yards on the hash marks. So once they arrive at that destination, let's say it's about right here, they read the quarterback and play football. That's it. They don't have the hook. They don't have a flat. They don't have a buzz cover. It's simply playing football. They drop to their zones and read the quarterback's eyes. If the quarterback moves this way, they'll move this way. You know, if he moves the other way, they'll move the opposite way. They just move and play football. And this that's how this defense gets a lot of turnovers. They get a lot of interceptions off this coverage. Because the underneath players are playing in such an unorthodox fashion, it can sometimes mess with the QB's reads. They're expecting a typical zone drop where they're gonna cover a hook or a flat. But then they realize they're just kind of roaming around out there, so it kind of messes up the reads. Now, if you're not in the underneath coverage, you blitz. All right, so we know we got our, our front four blitzing. And so that's a basic look at the cover three zone blitz. 
they can do a whole bunch of variations. Maybe they want to do something like this where they drop the safe, the strong safety deep, and they want to bring the free safety on a blitz. All right. Um, the, the possibilities are literally endless with this defense. So we erase these. Now let's say they want to have three underneath defenders. So if they want to have three underneath defenders, it would look like this. Let's say for this time, let's put the free safety back deep again. For this example, whoa, sorry about that. There we go. For this example, we're going to use our will linebacker, our strong safety, and our middle linebacker as the underneath coverage. So if there's three underneath, the will linebacker and the strong safety will drop to 10 yards. He's actually going to come forward a little bit. On the outside of the numbers. And the Mike linebacker will drop to the middle of the field. So if there's three underneath defenders, numbers, numbers, middle of the field. And then, again, whoever's left, blitzes. Maybe they want to bring the mic. Send him on a blitz. So now the Sam drops to the middle. Maybe they want to bring the Will. Now the Sam drops to the middle, and the Mike has got to move his butt and get all the way out there. Maybe they want to bring, let's say, the strong safety and that. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six defenders. So now we're reduced to two underneath it now again. Just the Mike and Sam, so he's going to drop to the hash. And he's going to drop to the hash because again, if there's two underneath, they're going to drop to the hash marks, and they just play football. They could even do this: bring the Mike back, kind of like an old Tampa two, play, and play it like that. So it's a very flexible defense. They could even, let's say, they could even drop him off. And be one of their defenders, and then, yeah, and he blitzes. So lots of flexibility here. Um, what might this look like against some other formations and other fronts? Because Pat Narduzzi does like to use a three-man defensive line a lot in you know, longer situations, especially towards the end of a game. So let's say we're let's do a trips formation. All right, so let's see, we got this. Here's our end. And all those rush. Oh, yeah, I don't want three on this one. Let's say we take out the tackle. We just have three, these three now. Got a corner, corner. Strong safety will be about here. Free safety. When they get a trips formation, the safety away from the trips aligns over the guard on the, on the back side. Two of the trips, corner is over number one, safety is over number two. And the linebacker to this side will usually kind of split. If it's a trip formation like this, the linebacker will kind of split. So let's say we put the Sam, let's put a nickel backer in there. So they took this out, out one of their defense line and put in a nickel defensive back. And then you've got, let's see, one, two, three, eight. And then you got your three linebackers still. So now you got your Sam, your Mike, and your Will. It's kind of a more 3-3 three, three stack kind of look here too. So now, well, what does this cover three zone blitz look like here? Let's say we want to keep these guys deep. Let's say we keep, let's say we want to blitz this corner. All right, this is a very risky coverage, not something I would highly recommend. But you can, you might see a Pat and Arduzzi team do this. So again, you got your three deep. You decide how many you want underneath. Let's say we'll bring the drop the nickel and the mic. Everyone else is going. All right, pretty simple. You can bring the free safe, bring the free safety, and that's pretty much how. That's pretty much the entire defense. Again, cover three, basic spot drop, no pattern reading. If there's two underneath defenders, they drop to the hash marks. If there's three underneath defenders, it's numbers, numbers, drop to the middle of the field. Everyone else blitz. And that doesn't even include all the combinations of stunts and blitzes they can do with the front here. So they can do twists, loops, and all sorts of things like that. 
And that's pretty much it. That's the Zone Blitz Cover 3 defense for Pat Narduzzi. Hope you enjoyed the video. Look forward to doing more in the future.